the uh, size of a shield normally was about the, the width of the chest of the uh, warrior. You had bigger ones, of course, but uh, most of the time they were about the size of a, the width of a person's chest. All right, I'll be right back. Time to play with some clay. Over the years, I've bought literally hundreds of tools. And one of the major tools that I use are wire looped tools. These I got from Sculpture Depot, but Sculpture Depot went out of business or they've closed down. So you can no longer get these. A place called SculptureDepot.net uh, sells a few of the leftovers from the Sculpture Depot, base of these kind of tools. Um, I've taken these tools, which come long like this, really long, and I've cut them down to be more this size for my own use. But I must tell you, they do have a tendency to break the wire or the... Uh, wire becomes loose inside the uh, collar, which you can barely see because of all the clay I got on it. But that collar, the glue in there breaks loose and the uh, wire starts moving around whenever you're sculpting and it, it becomes useless. And so I've gotten, uh, I've glued it, re-glued it, and I've actually used fast uh, steel, which is a uh, putty to uh, keep being able to use that tool. Now, <clears throat> Karen Richardson at uh, Sculpture Depot designed these tools, and they're called ecliptic wire tools. They've got a Allen wrench screw in the uh, handle, and you put a, a uh, wire loop in, and it comes with several different loops for each uh, size handle. And then you just tighten that uh, Allen wrench screw with the uh, wrench that they give you. And it keeps it tight forever. I've been using these tools for years and haven't had any problems at all. Uh, they don't loosen up. And they, and if they do loosen up, you just retighten the uh, Allen wrench nut in there. Now... Karen has a special uh, sale on right now that's going to last for about a month. And uh, you can buy a kit with a different selections of different size tools and loops that come with them. And I'll put up a link in my video description to where you can get this kit uh, at a uh, reduced price. Uh, normally... Just one of these tools from Sculpture Depot would have cost something like $25, $30. And uh, you can get several tools at a really good price, even when they were at full price. So I'd make a suggestion to uh, check out these uh, tools and make a purchase from uh, Sculpture Depot. Liptic wire tools. Probably the best wire tools I've ever had. All right, I'm just filling in the little gap that I had in his shirt uh, because I was going to have the uh, society staff or the chief's flag uh, crossing his lap, and I had to have an indent in the shirt for that uh, staff, but I'm not going to do that now. I've got the staff or the... Uh, spear now uh, in a different position than across his lap and so I don't need to have the indent in his shirt so I'm just using my glyptic wire tool to shape uh, the wrinkle in that shirt I haven't got a lot of time today to work 
Um, I had some tire problems with my van, and I had to get that worked on. And so it took most of the afternoon. So I haven't really a lot of time. I almost didn't come down today because it just didn't seem worthwhile coming down for a half hour or so. But I wanted to get to work on this. So I'm here. Now next week I'm going to try to finish this clay. And uh, so I can move on to something else. Okay, I'm just putting the wrinkles in the uh, sleeve. This part of the sleeve is sewn to surround the arm like a normal sleeve. And uh, so it would have wrinkles uh, caused by the movement of the arm. I just want to give you an extra note about my instructional videos. Yes, I sculpt Western subject matters, and you may not be interested in that, but the thing is, what I show how to you do in those videos can be applied to any kind of subject you want to sculpt. All right, everybody, have a wonderful weekend, and uh, I'll see you next week. It's not going to be as event-filled as this week has been. It's going to be a little calmer. And uh, I'll be able to work all week, I hope, next week. No running to the foundry and, and all that stuff. So, all right. Good night, everybody. Have a great weekend. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.